Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, if you see the motorcycle behind me, you know we're going to go on a tour of a community. And today the community is Johnson Ranch. This community's been out here for quite a while, and I really should have done this video a long time ago. But I have two out of state buyers who this community might be a good fit for. Anyways, it is right off of 281 and 1865, kind of a north part of San Antonio in the Texas Hill Country. Anyways, let's go for a ride. A realtor ride. All right, we're going to start this tour off for giving you an idea of where exactly we are located. I'm currently standing at the intersection of 281 and 1863. To my west on 1863, you're going to have this quaint little town of Boverde, Texas. Some really neat places to go eat at. There's a sandwich shop there called the Hatch Nine. Really recommend that. And some nice wine places. Uh, north on Highway 281. Going about two miles from there, that's where you're gonna hit 46 and the Spring Branch area. Great for, uh, you've got the HEB, which is our grocery store, a lot of fast food restaurants, uh, elementary school, all that is just about two miles north on 281. And of course, if you keep going north on 281, you're also gonna hit the Guadalupe River and um, Blanco, Texas. Love Blanco, Texas. And a shout out to my friend that has Esperanza Winery in Blanco, Texas. It is just on the, it's right as you're coming into downtown Blanco. Top in, stop in, have a glass of wine and say hi to Judith. All right, to our south. This is uh, going south toward the 1604 San Antonio area. They are working on turning this part of 281 into more of a highway. So what that does is going to make it very, very easy to get from kind of out in country environment, which is Bulverde, to the downtown area with all the shopping and restaurants you could want, just heading straight to downtown. Uh, the kind of like the Stone Oak area. So it's going to be real quick and easy to get there. But since this is a tour of Johnson Ranch, that is just uh, around the corner here on 1863. There are two entrances to Johnson Ranch. One's going to be a little bit further up 281, but I like 1863 because it's such a beautiful country road. Anyways, let's get on our ride. All right, as you can see the sign there, it says blank of that direction, just like I told you it was. But this is a really convenient area and things are going to change over the next couple of years, especially as it becomes even more accessible. The Bulverde Meat Market, they do have, uh, every once in a while they'll have kind of a little farmer's market here. But when it comes to really nice farmer's markets, there are, there's one downtown San Antonio every Saturday. But I really like the one in downtown uh, New Braunfels. But this community, where it's located, you are kind of right in the middle between New Braunfels and Bernie. So you do have easy access to both just getting on to 46 and heading that way. Like I said, we are currently on 1683. And I just really love this road. It's very scenic. Um, it's nice once you get to know these back roads through the hill country you really don't have a need to get on roads like uh, highway 1604 because i can take this road all the way into where it hit 3009 i can curve around go to natural bridge caverns which is a great thing to do for kiddos and uh getting into shirts texas there or i can go north on 3009 and head into new brothels but this my friends is johnson ranch so i told you it is just right off 281 And there's where I did my little intro. As I'm filming this, it is uh, late January 2022. So a lot of these are post oak. So they do lose their leaves and look like they go dormant during the summer, but they're just fine. Over here is a senior living facility. And what you see back there is a dementia facility. So. If you bought in this community and one of your spouses gets a little touch of the dementia, hey, you can just send them right up the road and real close by. 
but also you have the emergency service center where you can have fire department services and you'll see like the sheriff's department and stuff out there so once again it is real convenient having these guys just right outside your community this community also has an elementary school uh johnson ranch elementary a uh, really good school this is comel isd so look it up um these areas comel isd is definitely one of the best comel i mean isds in the area uh be wise when the yeah, traffic is a little interesting during school pick up and drop off area but now we're coming into the actual johnson ranch space you do have a couple builders here, uh, Perry, Whitestone, and New Leaf Homes. And uh, you can find lots anywhere from like 55 feet all the way up to 80 foot lots. And uh, like I mentioned in my intro, I've got two people this might be a good uh, fit for. One of them, while I was setting up, they did just close on, a, I mean, uh, got under contract a beautiful perry home and we'll drive by that lot and i'll point it out to you but it's going to be a big home uh 3300 square feet and their view is going to be just phenomenal off the back of it there is some topography in a lot of parts of this community and coming the summer of 2022 they are going to be opening up new sections uh this coming from Perry, they're going to have slots for 55 foot width lots all the way up to 75 foot lots. So you do have some nice oak trees as you're coming in through this entry space. And like I said, this community's been out here for a while. Um, it's just been growing. So uh, been a very desirable. We don't have to worry about. Uh, a lot of crime in this community this is a great part of town but also look those stats up for yourself and it's always kind of fun seeing some uh, original homes that kind of just get enveloped by these communities just adds a little charm to it but uh i'm gonna stop off i'm gonna try to do a little mini these tour i did one yesterday for my clients but the sound wasn't working so i need to redo that but uh, yeah, really nice car. There's what I was talking about. Some of the older houses that have been here forever. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be able to drive in and it's like, oh, okay, there are some horses out there. I don't see them out right now. It is a little chilly to be out there. Because as I'm filming this, yeah, it's about 50 degrees. And yes, if you're watching this up north, you're laughing because that's not chilly. That's shorts and t-shirt weather, but this is Texas. 50 degrees here is a little chilly. Oh, there's one of the horses. So, yep. So, looking at the side of the horse, the horses, and uh, went off to the other side of the road. All right, I'll go back through there in a second. For my clients, I already drove by uh, the spot that you got your house under contract for. I'm gonna circle back and hit it too. Um, I am not an expert on this community, so if this tour, if I seem like I'm getting a little lost, that's because I've only been out here like two or three times. But this is the amenity center where you're gonna have a basketball court, a little playground area, and a quite nice pool. Sorry, no lazy river like you have out at Vintage Oaks or Esperanza. But it is nice. Uh, there are quite a few little mini sections. This is the overlook. There's the amenity center. This is the New Leaf model home. I have not toured that one yet, but I will. Amenity park. And as mentioned before, there is some topography in this community and we're seeing it now. Community mailboxes, that's a New Leaf home. You can always recognize them by the corner entry doors. 
And also for my clients who just got a beautiful Perry home under contract, this sidewalk is going to lead straight down to your house from uh, the amenity center. Well, at least there is a sidewalk around here that goes straight from the amenity center to your house. So we're seeing some more new construction sections. Like I said, there are lots, I mean, homes for sale. It's hard right now with the way our market it is to find a lot and build from dirt. A lot of these builders, for the sake of time, they have already decided what plan is going on the lot and started building it and then they'll put it on the market. Oftentimes after it's getting framed so they know what the build cost is. But uh, my client's got something under contract when it's just that foundation. You can see some kids out there playing. But man, check out this view. There are just some incredible views that can be found in this community. And it's really nice for a production level community. Now, Whitestone, uh, they also build out here. They do some custom homes. I know they, the, this really big house right here, that's probably a Whitestone house. And I believe Whitestone owns these lots here on this ridge. Um, let's see if I'm right. Oh, this is a house that's for sale. It's like someone started building it. And I don't know if that's Whitestone or not. But interesting. See a big hole in the window up there. But it could be a spec home by them that just hasn't sold yet. So if you want some more information on that, let me know because that's on the on the market right now. And if you wanted that house, you're gonna have some incredible views. But these are definitely some of the larger lot sections with some bigger homes. Uh, one of the questions I get all the time is uh, what are the taxes and that really is a community by community question because every community does things a little bit different this community they do have what's called a municipal utility tax or municipal utility district tax uh, also known as a mud tax what that does is it pays for the utilities to be brought out here because we're not really on like it pays for city water to be come out here so there's no septic out here it's all going to be regular sewage and water and electricity but that mud tax stacks on top of your normal property tax so in communities that do have mud taxes it's going to be a little bit higher you can see look at the pool there uh, so that bumps this community to 2.66 for every $100 of taxable value. Uh, that might sound, that is a little high for some of the Texas Hill Country communities, but uh, San Antonio, they're at like 2.7 for the city of San Antonio and all that good stuff. And let's go back this way. I'm gonna keep exploring. And uh, where I live in Shirts, Texas, we're at 2.5. So it's not outrageous, but I know some communities like, uh, okay, it's gonna be the Whitestone model home right there. Uh, some communities, oh, we're to come out to the entrance to 281. We don't need to go to the uh, other gate. We wanna keep looking at the community. But that, if you're coming off 281, this would be your entrance. But there's some beautiful homes out here. Uh, oh, I was talking about property taxes. Esper Esperanza, they do have a mud tax as well. I think they're right around 2.5. Uh, Vintage Oaks does not have a mud tax, and that's where they're able to keep their stuff right around 2.1. 
So, uh, but you do have septic versus city sewage. But just some beautiful water. I mean, beautiful views out here. All right, let's drive back into this community. I did get the gate code, but this is where Perry's got their model home, and these are gonna be 55 lot, 55 foot wide lot in this side. All right, we are through the gate, and these are gonna be the 55 lot, 55 wide lot communities. Some of these probably 60 foot lots. But I've already done a model home tour for Perry. I haven't made it public yet. For the sake, I've already done a different Perry model home tour. And I try my best not to do too many of the same builders all back to back to back. But uh, I'll get that one uh, made public soon enough. But I do like Perry Homes as a builder. They do have a two year coverage for everything. And uh, Perry really does do what they say they're gonna do. They're based out of Houston, so they really are censured here in the uh, Central Texas area to include like Austin, Houston, and the San Antonio space. But they're a good builder, energy efficient. They're definitely in my top tier production home builders. But you can tell these houses have been here for a little bit. There's some big, beautiful homes. Oh, there's a good looking puppy. Hey. All right, so obviously there doesn't look this, they're not building in this section, but as I get, like I mentioned before, they are getting ready to start developing a new section. And once that does go, it's gonna go pretty fast because yes, the world still is moving to Texas just like they have been for the last year and a half. And yes, that is driving our prices up. It's still shocking to see just how much things have gone up over the last year and a half. So I'm hoping we don't become the next California, but uh, it does appear that we're on that path. All right, let's see if this sensor recognizes my motorcycle and lets me out. Man. And it doesn't, so let me pause. Okay, about five minutes of messing around with that gate. It was not recognizing my motorcycle. Finally, some was coming through the entrance and I just whipped around to do that. All right, we're gonna go back up in this section here. Um, some little bit larger lots compared to the section we just left. And this is the section where my client just got a house under contract. So congratulations to them. They do have the gates open during the day because they are still doing construction in this section. Let's go and do a little drive by where their lot's at. They said some beautiful homes in this area. Nice oak trees. Always like it when developers leave little islands in the middle showing little character with the trees. This lot here is a lot my clients just got under contract. There's the drive, the sidewalk going up to the mini center. Howdy, howdy. And there's where they're getting that uh, Perry 3300 plan built. 
and they are going to have an amazing view out the back of that lot. All right, but let's see what their neighbors are going to look like. Like I said, this is such a nice neighborhood. Like I said, these are, you can definitely tell these are a little bit bigger lots in this section. And I know one of the lots in this community, uh, Perry's already planning on building a really big home. I think it's going to be 4,300 square foot single story home. And uh, I'm wondering if that's it right there. No, that's not a single story. I know it's in one of these corners. It might be on the corner down here. But uh, that's listed as still available. But there's just not much of it. Well, this one's available going back here. Maybe that was it. I have to look on their plot maps and kind of see. But if you've got any questions of those, I do have that information. I obviously just don't have it on my motorcycle. But uh, yeah, I will put a link to my calendar. So if you do want to schedule time with me to get some actually more information on this community, I'll be happy to. Uh, that's definitely the best way to schedule either a Zoom meeting with me or a phone call. Because yes, I am a real estate agent in the area and I do these videos just to kind of help both help my clients who are trying to get to know the community and it definitely helps me grow my business. A lot of people just don't realize just how nice this part of Texas is. Oh, uh, HOA fees. I believe the HOAs are right about $900 a year. Um, that's a little higher than... Uh, I would like, I usually like HOAs to be right around seven or eight hundred a year with nice amenities. But because these communities are all gated, that means the HOAs are paying for the gate, the gate maintenance, and the maintenance of the roads because the county does not work on the roads if they're behind a gated community. And uh, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of having the gates they're kind of a false sense of security but this is my opinion uh we are in such a low crime area i would guess but uh yeah some people really like them and i guess it's a luxury thing to be able to say i live in a gated community but uh my personal opinion i'm just not a huge fan of them but because it does drive up your hoa fees and folks like me on a motorcycle can get stuck trying to get out of a community because the gate sensors don't recognize you. Alright, we've already been up that road. Luckily, this gate's already open. So we have seen the New Leaf model home. We've seen where the Whitestone model home is and the Perry model home. And this is going back out towards the school and the emergency uh, fire station and out to... Uh, 1863 We're about to wrap up this video because I think you guys have seen a pretty good idea of representation of what Johnson Rents is I don't think we need to go through that little section of it 
up there like I said before there's a new section coming up this summer and if you see this video and think this community might be a good fit for you click that scheduling link and schedule some time with me there's not too many communities that have 70 foot lots or 75 foot lots on them but this gives you a nice little range and it is a as you can tell this place is beautiful located conveniently just north of San Antonio quick shot down 281 but you also can get access to uh, um, both Bernie and uh, New Braunfels just by taking 46 kind of around the area. All right, if you're still with me this long into the video, I gotta say thank you. Uh, these Real to Rides videos do get a little bit long, but I definitely think they have value, especially if you're looking to move to this great state of Texas from other parts of the country and you really don't know just how beautiful this area is. And uh, if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.